jump up and down and play with us? I'm just like, we are excited yeah. now. Yeah. Hella just passed her set. <laughs> so she's graduating today. Check up. Huh? Get a bottle of champagne. Oh, We're gonna pop that chain. Ooh. We're gonna pop that chain. Can I open this? You don't know, like sunlight. Yeah, okay, I think I broke it. Hold on. Helen's a nest. Helen's a nest. Helen's a nest. Oh, yeah, girl. There you go. Ready? Helen's a nest. Helen's a nest. Helen's a nest. I feel like I know nothing. I think I told you guys to say it. I told you guys to say it. I told you guys to say it. Yeah, you guys, finally in our adult phase of life. I know. I'm really exhausted. <laughs> Aren't you the queen, mm -hmm. Betty? Oh, I did it! I left my phone here. Oh, let me call here. here. We want to pop champagne. Congratulations, Auntie. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Ready? 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 Congratulations, Helen! Congratulations, Helen! Woo! I'll be your mouth. Really? So give me that. Thanks, Helen. Oh, okay. Did you guys sleep good? Helen got a little gift. Wow. From her friend, from your cousin? You remember Fahima? You met her in San Diego? That's your friend no, or your cousin? Friend. Oh, okay. Oh, she right had a little edible arrangement. Ooh. It's here. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. Yay. That's so cute. I know. By the way, I'm in Utah. We had to make sure she passed the test before I started vlogging. So that's why we're just vlogging right now. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Why did you just stop vlogging right there? <laughs> so she passed. The flying colors. Oh. Now I'm gonna go to brush my teeth so we can drink some champagne. So Helen has graduated. She's here. I'm gonna put some um, Snapchat footage. But we're at Cheesecake now. Cheesecake Factory. It's fancy. After graduation, we stopped by a liquor store, got some liquor. Her dad was like, you guys have to drink, have fun. So that's what we're gonna do. How pretty it is over here. I didn't even show you guys our food. Definitely didn't show y'all what we ate, but we're headed out now. It was great. Um, they were playing with us with that bread though, but I was able to get the amount of bread I needed. Why are you laughing so hard? <laughs> I can't even show y'all our food. <laughs> For real. But um, yeah, now we're about to walk back to Helen's house. Stop <laughs> laughing at me. See, this is why I don't like to vlog you guys. People be laughing at me. I'm just kidding. You're the first person that's ever laughed at me from vlogging. <laughs> I'm just going to keep recording because it's making you laugh. <laughs> but um. What do I want to say? We should stop at a grocery store. You said that. Are we going the right way? The Sorry, we are. I stopped. Right <laughs> okay, cool. We're gonna go to the grocery store and get some apple juice, and I'll probably show you guys that. Because we definitely coming to this Forever 21 tomorrow because it's popping. Good morning, you guys. We woke up to a wintry wonderland. It's snowing. I just watched Helen sweep snow off of her car. That's crazy. I just watched you sweeping snow off your car. <laughs> and then we just had a snowball fight. Now she's put on gloves because she's trying to she's trying to beat us up. We still gonna win. Ha! <laughs> uh uh. <laughs> mm. Oh, that was close! <laughs> Don't come over here! <laughs> I got the camera! <laughs> oh, that sucked. <laughs> Look at her face! I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. Is she up? Done. I do. Get Waha! Get the nurse! Get the nurse! She said, get the nurse! <laughs> <laughs> that was close. <laughs> you got an arm on you, bitch. Softball one year. 
<laughs> That's a big old one. <laughs> it's the same size as your head. Ah! <laughs> I have a camera. <laughs> I have a camera. <laughs> Look at this. I just made a snowman on top of Helen's car. Hey. Look at my, look at my snowman. <laughs> he looks so happy. I got some green curry and the new dish. What'd you get? Pineapple curry? Pineapple, yeah. Pineapple curry. Mm. Look at everybody's food. Where's Helen? Helen's the only one that didn't get her food yet. Oh, she had the same thing as her daddy. That looks good. I gotta get yours. Yesterday I didn't vlog the food we got, so the chicken saute was really salty. Then Helen got the drunken Aww, noodles. Thank you. I haven't seen you guys in so long. Time to eat. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but <clears throat> I'm not that big of a fan of snow. It's quite beautiful. I guess because I don't see it often. But don't like it at all. I don't like it. Oh. <clears throat> but this is the state ca this is the state capital of Utah. This is the building here. Oh, look at Helen and her mommy. They look like Eskimos. They're really in the snow, like crazy people. It's a beautiful building, but it really just makes me sick. As to how it got here, and the fact that it's still being honored. Huh, it should get burned down. <laughs> look at Helen's mommy. <laughs> so fancy, all this marble everywhere. Look at this. They even got bronze water fountains. The color scheme is impeccable. Awesome and beautiful. There's just too much marble going on here. You don't like marble? I love it. Uh oh. Ew, somebody's pissing really hard. That's me. <laughs> piss girl, piss girl, yeah, that's you. <laughs> That one's big. <laughs> so I came to Forever 21 and I spent $81.78 and I got, well I'll show you when he puts the bags on the table. Whoa, too big of a bag. <laughs> Good morning. Last night we went to the gym. Vlogging is weird for me now. It's like, I be forgetting because I literally took like a month and a half break. So it's like very foreign to me. That's all we did last night after we came back from her mom and her dad's hotel. And now she woke my ass up early to go and take her parents to the airport. I think we're gonna get food first, so. She was like, you can sleep, you don't have to go. But I'm like, the fuck I look like? The fuck I look like? Your parents leaving and I don't show up. Okay. We are at Caputo's. We got some sandwiches. These are some of the best sandwiches I've ever tried. What's the name of the What's the name? Look at the line. Entrance. So this is the Mormon temple over here. Close. No, I don't worry about it. Come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Wow, this is so pretty. Look at the temple grounds. 
It's pretty. This is the temple building. Architecture on 100,000 million. And this is the downtown area right behind it. It's right smack dab in the, at the beginning of the downtown area. Okay. I don't know who could be what what flavor did you use? Who could be making my stomach hurt sometimes? I got watermelon and mint. Oh, I love watermelon. I have that one too. Oh, eat. No, you don't do that. Uh oh. Friend of my guests. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be recording a vlog, a video. What's up, my baby daddy? Then we'll go back to my channel. That's what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Okay. Talking about I don't want to be in your video. That's racist. That's <laughs> you racist. Y'all say. Y'all say. What's up, you guys? I'm in Dallas. <laughs> I feel like I was just in Dallas on my vlog. You know, it's been a long gap. I'm sorry about that. I stopped vlogging when my camera broke. I was like, when I get a new camera, I'll start vlogging again, and that way I can keep you guys interested, you know? So, that's just, that's how I thought about it. So, I'll pretty much upload all the vlogs from before, right before I post this one, so I can give you, like, a little flow. So, I came out here because I made a video on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, why not? Everybody loved it, and everybody was like, you should make a music video, you should make a music video. That's what I'm doing, that's what I'm doing here in Dallas, so. I'm at the Sheraton. That's what it looks like. You found me. <laughs> it's big. Nice. This is big. I was like hanging on to the elevator wall. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was going all the way up. <laughs> it was going all the way up. Oh, we got your oh, little yeah. couch. It's lit. This room is big. This is Don Chi. If you guys watched my last video, you know who he is. He's a rock star. Hey, baby, I'm a rock star. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he hooked me up with this hotel room. On my little bootleg budget, you feel me? <laughs> so yeah, it's nice. This nice. Oh. <laughs> All yours. This is awesome. Jeez. I'm gonna look good. <laughs> Like, I'm about to get this beat. He said, oh, 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 oh. Can you do two? Hey. Can you do two um, keys there? Um, oh, you want like a court? I don't know what like that means, but like. like on the first one too. Okay. Like me, me, and then nothing came to me. Nothing. No, dun dun dun. Okay, like, okay, okay, okay. Like, go down a little yeah. bit more. I think that one. Yeah, one more. So you did I that first you. one? Yeah! No, it was better the first time uh, you did it. Like if you um, X, I mean Control. No, no. Control Z two times. Two times. One more. One more. One more. Actually, I thought it was only twice. <laughs> one more time. <laughs> right there. Right okay. There. Now. One more. Right there. You seen that? Right in the middle. So. Right here. Yeah. Let's try it right there. Uh -huh. Is that it? Let's see. See what I mean? Is that it? I like that. Okay, cool. Do you like it though? No, no, no I do. I do. I do. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's keep it. Yeah, it's, it's, it goes. It's fit. It's good. I like that. It's a do, 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 do. do. <laughs> See what I mean? 
See, it's a process, y'all. Y'all don't know. <laughs> y'all don't appreciate this shit. All those songs you listen to, then you just be like, Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Chris Brown. <laughs> Who made the fucking track on this? Where'd the track come from? God just gave you the, God came from heaven and was like, here's a track, rap on it, make a million dollars. Oh, I got This nigga is talented. <laughs> <laughs> I bought some room service. I got some spaghetti. Some chicken tenders but chicken tenders come with french fries so yeah i'm just gonna open that so it doesn't get moist so yeah this is gonna be my dinner i'm gonna have a couple of these and then i'm eating some of my spaghetti and that should be good it was actually pretty cheap that's just why i went ahead and got two dishes they're ten dollars each so i was like i'll probably be able to eat half half like twice so we'll be good so I decided to, I guess, do a little mukbang with you guys because, like, you know, I got my food. I know I'm not going to be able to eat that much, and I'm super tired. I haven't slept for 36 hours. Yeah, 36. That's the right number. I got a beef pasta, beef spaghetti. No Parmesan. Oh, Parmesan. No Parmesan, no salt. Okay, so, um, me and Don, we just uh, kicked it for a little while. We went back to his studio. Y'all saw what we was over there doing. He was in there making beats and stuff. Um, we're going to try and get his verse done. So we can master everything by Friday. You know, so we can film on Saturday. There's a lot of stuff that we have to do. And we have a little bit of time to do it. I'm going to try and like. <coughs> I'm trying not to be a burden though. These chicken nuggets are really good. I don't condone McBain's. Because although some people can eat and not gain weight. Some people can watch people eat in control and not eat themselves. There are a lot of people that are out there that are suffering from things like mukbang specifically trigger. You know what I mean? Like eating disorders. So I think that low key, I don't, I just don't support mukbangs, but I was just like, let me just do one. I got the food here. People seem to like it. So, you know, let me just see if they like it on my channel. If y'all don't like it, I ain't gonna do it now, man. If you are suffering from something like that, please talk to somebody around you because it's a serious matter, you know? I didn't get a mic. <laughs> I just wanted to check in with you guys. I'm already full. I'm about to go to sleep. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how people eat the amount that they eat in their mukbangs. The only thing that I feel like I eat a lot of is Domino's pizza. Like, like I can eat that all day. I can eat a whole box of Domino's pizza. If someone was to ask me what my favorite food was, I'd probably say Domino's pizza because honestly, there's not a time that you can offer me Domino's pizza and I say no. Like, this shit is fucking good. Mm -hmm. Whew. Okay, you guys. Um, the lids are right underneath my camera, so I have to move them. I can't eat anything else. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you guys that I'm doing intermittent fasting. So like for the past month or so, since, since I haven't been recording, I've been trying my hardest to 
because I know I haven't done it completely, but only eat within the hours of four and eight. So like if it's 4 p.m., I will eat my breakfast. And if I wanted to eat something before I went to sleep, I had to do it before eight. I've been going to sleep earlier, all of that stuff so that my body can get a schedule. So um, a lot of stuff has changed in that regard. So I wanted to tell you guys about that, but I'm gonna be doing that in a separate video, not on the vlog channel. So make sure you're subscribed to both and the bells are on on both. Cause I'm not really sure which channel I'm gonna post it on. All right, you guys, talk to you later. I'm going to sleep. Night night. This is crazy. So I just got back. Well, I didn't just get back, but I went to, um, what's this place called? Where I got my hat for the music video tomorrow. And I'll show you guys actually. And my boots, Ooh, they're sick, man. The boots are sick. But that's not the best part of this story. Look at these boots. Okay. They were 185, $185. It's complete leather, so it's worth it. The lady told me that her daughter has some cowboy boots that she's had for 30 years. So I was going to drop more even on the boots because I was like, you know, if they're going to last that long, I might, have, might as well get some that I really wanted. And there was these ostrich ones, which is kind of like the color of this bag that I really wanted because of the color. But um, anyways, I ended up not getting it. I ended up getting those ones because they were cheaper. The ostrich ones were like $400. And then I got this hat. My cowgirl hat and it's white or like a cream color and I was just like this is sick and it's ripped this is like clean like you know it's ripped so um this one was $65 and so this is all real they gave me the sponge that you used to clean it as well but they didn't give it to me I bought this too $1.99 and yeah so my total came out to like $272.78 Anyways, while I'm in the store, right, I'm just chilling in the hotel the whole day because um, we filmed yesterday. I didn't bring the camera with me yesterday when we actually filmed the song, the Old Town Road song. Um, so I just left my ca I didn't leave my camera on purpose, but I left it so I didn't get to film. So anyways, I was just like chilling in my hotel room the whole day, right? And then I was like, you know what, let me get up and go to this boot store. We went to this boot store like someplace yesterday. Yeah, where I bought my belt. I believe somebody told me that there's a place called there's a place called Bills in downtown and I don't know who I can't remember what guy told me that. I don't know if it was the guy at the store or um where but somebody told me yesterday to um go downtown to get my boots. So anyways, I was downtown and I was like, Okay, I'm gonna search. Let me search and see what I can find. So I searched it and I found this this boot store, right? So I was like, Okay, we're gonna go. But I was wasting time. I was like editing. I was doing other stuff. And then I was like, fuck it. Let me just get up and go. So I got up, put on some clothes. And I was like, I can walk. It was like a 15 or 16 minute walk. So I was like, I'm going to just walk over there. So I walked. You know what I'm saying? I got to the place. I asked the lady um, like for the types of boots that they had. I saw a bunch of cute boots. But their female boots didn't fit me. Because, you know, boots, they stop at a certain size and shit like that. And I was just like. I wear size 12. The biggest female boot that they had was a size 11, and it wasn't cute to me. And so I was just like, okay, let's see the men's boots. So, damn. And you know what? When I was leaving the house, I was like, should I bring my camera? And I was like, nah, I'm walking on the street. I don't want nobody to snatch it from me. You know, so I was like, let me just leave my camera. But it would have been cool to show you guys the store and, like, the, the different boots that I was trying on and stuff like that. But if I had my own car, if I rented a car, which I didn't rent a car, I am. I got a rental for tomorrow for the video shoot, but I didn't rent a car for the whole trip. There's these ostrich boots. They're so cute. Okay, so I had these, like, dark, it's like a dark berry, like the boots I just showed you, like a dark, like, reddish, like, beautiful mahogany. That's what I'm going to call it, a mahogany colored boot. And then I had these beautiful ostrich boots that were kind of, like, slouchy and just really cute, but really expensive. And I was just like... Mm -hmm. I didn't know which one so I was literally sitting there with one of the women that worked at the store for like 25 minutes like contemplating which shoes I had so I had on one well I had on the dark brown boots on my foot right and the dark brown boots was only a hundred and some dollars so I was leaning more towards it because I liked the way they look but I was um but I wanted the color of the other boots you know what I'm saying so anyways some random black lady walks in and she's like oh my god those boots are so pretty on you and I was like, thank you. 
look how God just sent somebody to come and help me make my decision because I was really sitting here contemplating like am I gonna really drop this whole four hundred dollars on these ostrich boots or are you just gonna get the black ones that's really cute too but they not ostrich because the belt that I bought um let me show you guys the belt that I bought oh I guess it's too two toned uh oh it's wet oh no the belt got wet um I spilled my water in my bag yesterday so I guess the belt got wet but you see it's like a two-tone color belt and it has like this huge ass buckle on it that I thought was so pretty. Look at that buckle. Can y'all see it? Yeah, that buckle is dope. So I was like, oh, I was like, I want to get the ostrich ones because I feel like it will match the belt better. But you know what? I think I like the fact that it's all different kind of colors. It's going to be cute. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I can't change it now anyways, right? I finally picked the boots because the black lady was like, yeah, those boots are cool. Like, those are nice. I like those boots. And, she, and so I asked her, I was like, you like these boots better or the ostrich ones? She said, definitely the ones that's on your feet. And I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. So I got the boots. I put them at the cash register. And I was like, do you guys have hats in large? Like, because I have a big old head. I need a big hat. They're like, yeah, we have different sizes. So we went up there and we were playing with the different sizes. I had my wig on. So I was happy I had my wig on so that they can actually measure it with the hair on top of my head, you know. And so the guy puts the um, hat on my head and we we're just trying on different hats. And then we were just talking, you know, we we're trying on so many different hats, like just stuff that I'm not even interested in. Like, you know, like stuff that I don't normally do. I don't just be in cowboy stores hanging out with white people trying on like cowboy shoes and hats and shit and like just talking and having fun. Like, so anyways, I was like, all right, I got the hat I want. Da, 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 da. So I go downstairs to go and pay. I walk down the, it's like a few stairs. It's not like, a, it's like a stage type of thing. So I walk down the stairs to the stage to go pay and I'm like chilling at the cash register and I'm just like, and then some guy's like, are you ready to check out? I was like, yeah. So the reason why I'm, I'm telling you guys about all the times that I was just wasting time is because of the, what happened. Okay. So I finished. Boop, boop, boop. He tells me the price of my, he tells me the price of what I got to pay. Put my card in. Boop. He hands me my receipt. And then a guy walks in. A group of black guys walk in. And I see it at the corner of my eye because the door is like right here. A group of black guys walk in with a white guy with them. And I didn't notice. I didn't look at any of their faces at first. But the first thing I thought, I was like, black boys <laughs> in this store? Like, you know what I mean? What are they doing? I was like, they're probably here for the same thing as me. I was like, they're probably trying to get on this country shit too. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of turned around and I was trying to see if I can get anybody's face. Like, no, didn't see anybody's face. So I looked at the guy who was checking me out. I said, you know who that guy is? And he was like, no. And I was like, I think he's a rapper. And at this point, I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about. I was just talking out my ass, right? He was like, I don't know who it is, but they called us like 30 minutes ago. We've been texting for like 20 minutes, but I didn't want to like, he was like, at this point, I feel too uncomfortable to even ask who he is. So I was just like, and then I was like, Hold on. I think he's a rapper who does country music. I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gonna search it right here. So me and the guy who checked me out, we got on my phone and we was like searching. I was like Lil Nas X, typed in Lil Nas X, you guys. I searched on Google Lil Nas X, so this picture came up. Can y'all see? It's overexposed as fuck. Dang, this camera is super overexposed, but that's him right there, right? So I saw... Um, I was like, okay, I don't know how to work this camera yet. Otherwise, I would have fixed that for y'all so y'all can see it. But I was just like, I looked at that picture and I was like, I'm going to go and I'm going to go see if that's him. I was like, because it might be. And he was like, go see. He was like, what are you going to do? You're going to be like this? This is you. <laughs> and I was like, shit, I might as well. So I just started walking towards where they were. And then I see him stand up and walk up. I said, that's him. Mind you, he's probably like 17. Let me see how old he is. He's young. 1999 is when he was born. He's 20 years old. So I was like, that's him. I was like, that's exactly him. That's him in the picture. He had on a red sweatshirt. And in the picture on Google, he had on a red jacket. So it even looked exactly like the picture. I said, that's him. That's him. Like, you can't even argue. That's the man. That's the man right there. But I just couldn't believe it because I was like, I'm in Dallas because I made a stupid little cover to Lil Nas X's Old Town Road. My baby daddies were like, you need to make that a real song so I can download it. And I came to Dallas with my home to, to come and record at my homeboy's studio. 
which he just sent me the fucking final version of the what we recorded yesterday. He sent it to me. I'm just like, dang, what the fuck? I just couldn't believe it. Like, the reason why I'm in Dallas is because of this young man's song. He doesn't even live in Dallas. He doesn't even, that, that young man doesn't even live in Dallas. And he showed up at the same little store that I came to, that I walked to, <laughs> that I walked to in freaking downtown Dallas, like, at the same exact time, same exact day, same exact, same exact, same exact, same exact, same exact. So I walked up there, I said, like, is that who I think it is? And then he was like, and then the brother looked at me because it's the brother who I was talking to. I was like, is that who I think it is? Brother looked at me and I was like, that's Lil Nas? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, I need a picture. Like, I didn't even know what to say. I was just like, I need a picture. He was like, okay. So the brother took my phone. He was like, uh, all right, like he's doing something. He was trying on hats. Lil Nas was trying on hats and shit. So the brother took my phone and I was like, all right, I'm not tripping. I was just chilling there. Everybody was just chilling. I was just talking with them and stuff like that. And then when he picked out his hat and his shoes, which was like, uh, it was like a beige, like white, like white shoes and a white hat, but it's like off white. It's not like what their white is not really white. It's like off white. Like, you know what I mean? Actually, he just posted a picture on Instagram. I can show you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Then he just posted another one. The same shit. I mean, another dang. How am I going to show y'all? So those are the boots. Those, that's the hat. You can't really see it, but you see him, right? He has a colorful ass outfit, some white boots, and a white hat. If you go on this page, it's not really white. It looks like cream or something, but yeah, he just posted another one. Like, that's literally, he wasn't wearing this. He was wearing a regular outfit, but that's the hat and the boots that he bought. And I was just like, that's fucking crazy that he's now, he just posted this 30 minutes ago. They tell me that they're here for the Jambalaya show or the Jambalaya festival or something like that and they were asking me if I was going and I was like, no, like that's not what I came here for. I didn't even want to tell them what I was here for. Like it was so fucking weird. I was like, should I just show them my song? Like listen, I was like, I don't know this white guy. I don't know he gonna get mad. He gonna tell the lawyers. He gonna be like, there's this girl trying to steal this song. You know, I just don't understand like what's going on. Like I didn't want to get myself into any trouble. So I was just like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. They were like, oh, you trying to hang out? If you're trying to hang out tonight, give me your number. And I was like, okay, for sure. So I gave one of the boys my number, and he's been texting me, but I don't think I'm going anywhere. I don't even, look, y'all are babies. They're like 20 years old. Like, what the fuck am I going to be doing with them little ass kids? But um, one of my friends was like, bitch, you better go and get the ending footage of your... Um, of your video, like, of your actual music video, have him at the end, like, y'all chilling and shit. And I'm like, that's malicious as fuck, my guess. Like, I don't know. But anyway, so here are some of the pictures. Like, this is me and him. He was standing on this side of me. And then he was like, wait, that's not my good side. So he went to the other side. And then that's us again. I don't know why you cannot see. And then, like, the boy just took a whole bunch of pictures. So, definitely ran into Lil Nas X today in the motherfucking boot store. <laughs> it's so fucking crazy. It's so fucking crazy to me that I'm filming this video on this nigga. Like, the music video is tomorrow. The music video is tomorrow. I met him today. He's not even from here, but I met him today. Universe is trying to tell me something. We gonna see, man. We gonna see. Okay, so I just got ready. One of my friends that lives in Dallas was like, oh, we can go out, blah, 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 blah. But now he's wasting my time and shit. So um, I was just sitting around. And Lil Nas's brother, oh my God, it's so fucking bright. How do you fix that? Am I doing it right? <laughs> Um, Lil Nas X brother was like, hey, where you at? Come through, let's hang out. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Lil Nas is going to be there, but I'm about to take my chances because I'm going to play my song for somebody. But I'm not going to take my camera, so I'm going to leave my camera here and I'll let you guys know what happens when I get back. Okay? <laughs>
Yeah, so if you put your camera. There we go. I figured out how to lower the brightness because that shit was crazy. Okay, so anyways, I'm at the freaking airport right now. And I got here so early. Um, we were rushing the shoot because we were like, um, you know, make sure I, I get to, everybody had things to do. Somebody had to get to work on time. Somebody had to get um, home on time. Somebody, you know, and I had to get to the airport. So we were all kind of rushing. And then when I got to the car rental place, I was like, I checked from the car rental place because the car rental place was at Dallas Lovefield um, Airport. And I checked it from there. I checked from the car rental place to here, which is DFW, Dallas Fort Worth Airport. And I thought it was gonna be a long commute, but it was only like 15 or 17 minutes. So now I'm here and I'm just like tired as hell. I don't know what to do. I think I'm about to go lay my ass down or like something, I'm really tired. But um, the shoot was good. I just can't wait to see what the video is gonna turn out like. Um, I do wanna make take off my makeup because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the makeup and all of that. Low key, this wig lasted the whole day. I sweat out the hair, even though it was straight from the beginning. Now it's a little wavy, but it still looks really good and it feels even better. Oh yeah, and it's a frontal, in case you didn't know. <laughs> just based off of what I just did, I said eat. <laughs> yeah, that's a frontal. It looks pretty good, but anyways. Do I want to take off my makeup? I do want to take off my makeup, but then I don't, you know? Like, I don't feel like opening up my luggage and shit. So, yeah. Here goes that makeup. Say bye. <laughs> Say bye to the makeup. One girl was like, oh my god, you're so pretty. I was like, thank you. I'm going to come back out there and I'll be a whole different person. <laughs> she going to be like, bitch, you tricked me. <laughs> People out here are so nice, though. It's completely opposite from the last experience I had while I was in Dallas. Um, this time, like, I really enjoyed myself and I, it was just crazy. It was just like an amazing experience. I'm just happy it's over. I'm happy it's over. I can't wait for the product, you know, to see what the fuck we made, what we produced. That's the exciting part. The makeup was good too. I did some good makeup today. All I did was sweat all day and I can't believe that makeup stayed. I can't believe this hair stayed. It's crazy. But the reason why I take off my makeup when I'm not you when I don't need it is because I like the way my skin be looking recently, you know? When you neglect your skin, your skin neglect you. What so what Da DeJoy, please go to the nearest white courtesy phone for a personal message. You said that name wrong and I just know it. Mm -hmm. Immediately, curbsides are for active loading and unloading. She's got an attitude. Parking is available curbsides. in the terminal garages at no additional cost. I'm a little mad because I have to carry my hat. I can't like pack it. I don't got a bag. I don't got a box for it. That's a wrap, partner. That's a wrap, partner. Yo, this camera's low key lit. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, now that I know that I could just bump up the brightness and bump it down whenever I want, I like that. I wonder if it's gonna remember if I turn it off and turn it back on. I don't know if I turn it all the way off. It do. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that.